there is no other option, right? Okay. <clears throat> By the way, what was the homework yesterday? I asked you to write the interview with Lisa Parsons. Okay, I'm going to check that. Give me a second. So let's begin with the original. Tape script 3.3. Hi, Lisa. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Now, I... This is important when you start a conversation with somebody. Addressing is greeting is important. You know, you have to greet each other. Hi, Lisa. Nice to meet you. Oh, please meet you, too. These are formalities you must do, okay? And then you start. Now... I often hear, I hear you often sing. I often hear, no, I hear you often sing. The words and the position, they matter so much. Okay, let's listen to this part again. I hear you often, sir. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Now, I hear you often sing in... I hear you often sing. I hear you often sing in nightclubs. I hear you often sing in nightclubs. Uh, now, when he says, I hear, okay, uh, those people who study things in a very theoretical way and do not use their practical understanding of a language. <laughs> if they don't understand language, you know, what kind of thing it is, the dynamic thing, language, you know, you can't restrict language within rules. There are some rules which help us. But to think that rules will guide everything, you're wrong. Language was not developed in a lab that it will follow rules. It's not science, okay? It's, a, it's something that has evolved. There are a lot of irregular things in language, okay? So in Hindi, we say, Mene suna hai. Sunte hai ki, sun rahe You see, they sound different tenses. Here the person says, I hear, okay? Uh, I hear you often sing. So when you confirm with somebody, something that you have heard, you can use the same. I hear, I hear you are selling your house. I hear you are selling your house here. I hear you are selling your house here. कि बोलने वाला इन दोनों में बहुत ज्यादा फर्क करता है क्या सुन रहे हैं कि घर वाला बेच रहे हैं सुने हैं कि घर वाला बेच रहे हैं इन बिहार पीपल यूज बोथ द लाइंस 
in the same situation one sounds like continuous sun rahe hain the other sounds like present perfect sune hain so yes we need to study some rules to help us but we can't really become lucky ke fakir and follow just rule we have to understand what is normally spoken in what situation okay here the guy says i hear you often sing in night clubs Night clubs here in New York. Here in New York. Aha, uh -huh. no good morning. You are going to lose 17 rupees today. Aha, uh -huh. so, so fine, very good. Samir will pay for you. So the point is, what time is it? 7 17. All right. So, Samir Babu, take a look at the clock. 17 rupees, fine, because you're late by 17 minutes. <laughs> the class starts at 7, right? Yeah? I hear that you were having coffee, sorry, tea, and that's why you got late. So fine, no problem. You guys have co had coffee or tea, 10 rupees. Now pay for my tea as well. 17 rupees you, 17 rupees you. Uh, that, make him pay. I don't mind. I just need 17 rupees from each person tomorrow. Okay, a screenshot of that. I need an online transfer and I need a screenshot and that a screenshot will go into the group. Okay, <laughs> understand? <laughs> <laughs> he drank tea alone. You did not drink. <laughs> I don't, you don't drink tea. Okay. Samir, if you want to drink tea before you come to the class, then get there before seven. Because class time is seven o'clock. I can give you a five minute in a relaxation. You can come here by seven five. But if you're later than that, you're gonna lose money for sure. Remember, the rule is very simple. You come here before seven five, that's okay. By seven five, that's okay. But if you are here at seven six, you lose six rupees. Now, Ganpati is looking at me with those fiery eyes, sir, this is not fair, but this is how it is, okay? You're lucky that you're not paying today, you're on time. But from you guys are going to pay 17 rupees each. Because you were late yesterday as well. They were late yesterday too, and I'd given them a warning, yes? Okay. So, now, I hear you often sing here in, in, in nightclubs here in New York. He uses the word here in New York. This tells you that this conversation is taking place in New York. This conversation, this interview is taking place in New York. And how do we know it is taking place in New York? We, no, no. How do we know that this conversation is taking place in New York? Maybe she's in Paris and this conversation is taking place. We have a clue if you notice carefully. Take a look at this. Point three. Hi, Lisa. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Now, I hear you often sing in nightclubs here in New York. Here in New York. He is in New York. That's why he's saying here in New York. If he was not present in New York, he would not say here in New York. Please understand. I am sitting in Bihar Shri, and I will say here in Bihar Shri, because I'm here. If I'm not in Bihar Shri, if I'm talking about Patna, then I, can I say here in Patna or I will say in Patna only? Only in Patna. I will say there are a lot of nice places to visit in Patna. There are a lot of nice places to visit in Patna. I'm not in Patna. But when I'm sitting in Patna and making this a statement, I can use the word here. There are a lot of nice places to visit here in Patna. There, is, there aren't many places to visit here in Bihar Shri. You understand? When I use the word here, I use the word here when I'm present in that place. If I'm not present in that place, I can't say here. Here gives a feeling of closeness, yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. So how do you say, yeah, Bihar Shri mein zyada kuch karne ke nahi hai. Kaun bolega? Someone who is in Bihar Shri or someone who is outside Bihar Shri? Someone who is in Bihar Shri. So he says, I hear you often sing in nightclubs here in New York. It means that person is in New York. All right. 
Any problems, anyone? Okay. That's right. I love singing. That's right. I love singing. That's right. I love singing. She confirmed that. She says, that's right. What you have heard is true. I love singing. I sing in nightclub. And how old are you, Lisa? And how old are you, Lisa? Now, some people will say, sir, you should not ask girls their age. <laughs> that's nonsense, okay? There was a time in the, you know, 17th century, 18th century, when people didn't ask girls their age. There was a reason. Because back then, only young girls could get married. Those girls who crossed a certain age could not get married. Men did not like get, marrying those girls who were 24 plus, 25 plus. They wanted to marry young girls, 17, 18, 19 only. And that's why girls didn't talk about their age. Do you understand what I mean? There was an expiry date on girls that you cross a certain age and now nobody's interested in marrying you. And that's why, if you notice, some parents, traditional parents, put so much pressure on their daughters to get married early because they still have the same mindset that if it is late, nobody will marry them. Priyanka Chopra got married when she was in her 40s. All right. Ashwarya Rai got married when she was in her late 30s. What happens, you know, 40s, I think, maybe she was. Times have changed. It's not a big deal. Girls' age doesn't matter anymore. But some people in small towns, people with traditional thinking, they still believe we should not ask girls their age. That's totally bullshit. You don't need to follow this rule. Why can't we ask girls their age? Then they will say, how about asking a man his salary? Well, that's a different thing. If you are, if you need to know, you can ask, but otherwise it's not, it's a personal thing, you know? how much somebody earns. Not only about a man, you shouldn't ask even a woman how much she earns. Today, the gender role doesn't really matter, you know. We don't really say women will do this, the men will do that. So this kind of rule, don't ask a man his salary, don't ask a woman her age. These rules don't really hold any value today, okay? They, they are simply useless rules. I don't stick to them, I don't use them, I don't follow them, okay? So, he asked anyway, how old are you, Lisa? Have you heard this rule that go, don't ask girls their age? Have you heard this? People say this, no? don't ask a girl her age. And girls don't tell the truth about their age. That's Maybe some girls don't, but there are a lot of girls who don't mind telling their real age. There is nothing for them to be embarrassed about. Why do you want to remain a young girl all the time? What's the point? I mean, you look pretty even if you're in your 40s. That's all that matters, yeah? I mean, why do you have to pretend to be 24 when you are 34? <laughs> What's the point? I'm 24. She's 24. She's not pretending to be 24. She is 24. Okay. She says, I'm 24. And do you live in New York? <laughs> and do you live in New York? You sing in nightclubs in New York. Do you live in New York? By the way, New York refers to two things, guys. New York refers to two things. Patna refers to two things. Patna is a city and Patna is a district. Do you understand? New York also refers to two things. New York is a state and New York is a city. All right. New York is a state and New York is a city in the U.S. So, do you live in New York? Yes, I do. I live downtown, near the river. Yes, I live downtown, near the river. She says, yes, I live downtown, near the river. I hope you guys have your audio script ready. Have you written the audio script? Please check your audio script and make the corrections where necessary. I live downtown, near the river. Downtown is an American English word, downtown. It means in the city center, in the main part of the city. British English uses the term city center, city center, and Americans use the term downtown. Yesterday I told you about apartment and flat, and Tina and Ariel, remember? Now, understand, 
Downtown is an American English equivalent for city center. City center. Somebody lives in Pahari. A Pahari is an area, locality in Patna. Is Pahari the city center? No. City center is Bakarga. City center is Boring Road. City center is Gandhi Nagar, right? City center is Fraser Road. City center is Exhibition Road. This is the city center of Patna, means the main part of the city, the central part of the city where all the action happens, where most of the important things are. The shops are expensive there, the land is expensive, there is a lot of traffic in the city center usually. City center, as the term says, center of the city. So usually land is more expensive there, shops are more expensive there, right? So city center and outskirts, areas which are not in the city center. She says, I live downtown. I live downtown means I live in the city center. That's American English because she's from America. So she will speak American English, right? So she says, I live downtown, which means she lives in the city center. I live downtown near the river. It means in New York City, there is a river in the center. Yeah, we can conclude that. We hear, she says, I live downtown near the river. It means there must be a river in the city center of New York. That's why she says, I live downtown near the river. If there was no river in the, down, in the city center, why would she say, I live downtown near the river? It means there must be a river. Okay. She says, I live downtown near the river. Okay. Downtown means everybody? City center. city center. Right. The main part of the city. <laughs> downtown is an American English word, phrase, word, and uh, city center is British English. Okay. And where do you work? And where do you work? Okay, you live downtown in New York. And where do you work? I work in a bookstore. 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 The Strand Bookstore. In the Strand Bookstore. This is the name of the bookstore, right? I work in a bookstore, the Strand Bookstore. Manhattan. Hmm? Manhattan. Hmm. What time do you finish work? What time do you finish work? What time do you finish work? I hear there is a curfew in Maharashtra area. Is that true? Curfew. There is a curfew in Maharashtra area. Anybody knows about it? Where are you coming from? Are you coming from Sipa? Where are you coming from? You or you're coming from some local place here? Right now? Huh? Nijamat Nagar. You are coming from Nijamat Nagar right now? Where is Niyamak Nagar Sabah? Kargil Chow. Kargil Chow. Okay. Near Deep Nagar. So, so, and I talked about which place? Meherpur. Meherpur is near. Right? Yesterday somebody told me that there was a curfew in Meherpur. I don't know how true it is. The situation is all right, right? There is no problem in that place. Okay, fine. So, no, I'm just thinking why the two students are absent, you know, to be and, uh, you know, children. Okay. Do they take the bus to come here? To leave and, uh, you know, children? Do they come by bus? Oh, I didn't know. I thought it was close where they came from. They came from Zurakut, they said. They both come from Zurakut. Zurarpur, Dipnagar. Zurarpur is near Dipnagar. How far is it? How many kilometers, Zurarpur? I think Zurarpur is only four or five kilometers from the outside. That is Jalalpur. Zurarpur and Jalalpur are different. <laughs> okay. So, fine. Um, Okay, I'm just thinking uh, because yesterday somebody told me there was a curfew and today they are absent. So I thought maybe there is a connection, you know. 
All right. Hmm. Uh, the sentence, last sentence was, uh, where do you work? I work in a bookstore. It's the Strand Bookstore. Well, I, I live downtown near the river. And where do you work? I work in a bookstore, the Strand Bookstore in Manhattan. Mm. Okay. Manhattan is a place, locality. Hmm. What time do you finish work? What time do you finish work? What time do you finish work? Well, I usually finish at 6 o'clock. Well, I usually finish work at 6 o'clock. I usually finish at 6 o'clock. She usually finishes work at 6 o'clock. Okay. But sometimes I stay late until 9 or 10 o'clock. Sometimes I stay late until 9 or 10 o'clock. Okay. Sometimes you stay late. But I always finish at 6 on Saturday. But she always finishes at 6 on Saturdays. On Saturdays, she never works late. She never stays until 9 or 10 o'clock on Saturday. Why? It's because I sing in the evening. Because she sings in the evening. So she needs to get ready and everything, you know? You see her two photos, how different she looks when she sings. How many jobs do you have? <laughs> How many jobs do you have? Street singing, bookstore. <laughs> Just two. Two. Just two, not more. The bookstore and singing. Bookstore and singing. And do you like your jobs? Oh. Do you like your jobs? Do you like your jobs? Oh, yes. I love them both. Oh, yes. I love them both. This line... A lot of girls and boys want to use, but they can't use this line. If they use this line, they will be boycotted by society. I love them both. Okay, you didn't get the joke? It's all right. All right. She says, I love them both. Yeah, I love my singing job and I love my bookstore job. Okay, I love them both. Why do you like them? Why do you like them? Because I love singing and I love books. Because I love singing and I love books. Do you like singing, guys? Do you not sing when you're alone at least? You do? Okay. Do you not sing when you're alone? I'm hardly quiet when I'm hardly ever quiet when I'm alone. When I'm alone, I'm usually crooning some song. But I don't sing in front of other people. I don't have a confidence because my voice is not very good. But when I'm alone, then who is listening? Only me, of course. So I sing. Even when I'm riding my bike inside my helmet, I'm always singing full volume. Okay? <laughs> I love singing, but I sing awfully. I'm an awful singer. If I sing, you guys will say, well, it's better you don't. <laughs> okay? However, hmm. all right, um, she loves singing and she loves books too. Do you like books? Do you like reading? Do you love books means what? Technically, like reading, right? So, do you like reading? Do you like books? Okay, I love books. But now I, my eyesight is not that great. So I don't enjoy reading as much, you know. I'm not used to wearing glasses. When I wear glasses, I feel like there is something on my face, you know, I don't feel very comfortable. I haven't gotten used to wearing glasses. And when I'm not wearing glasses, I can't read properly. But until a few years ago, I loved reading and I read a lot of books. It was one of my favorite free time activities, reading. I'm lucky. I love my work. Lucky. I love my work. Because there are a lot of people who do not like their job. They do not like their work, right? She's lucky. She loves her work. What do you do on Sundays? What do you do on Sundays? What do you do on Sundays? Sundays go catch up now. What do you do on Sundays? Okay. Notice he says Sundays. Uh, here I don't hear people using Sundays. Okay, they only do, use the word Sunday. You can use Sunday. You can use Sundays. You can also use a Sunday. There are three options. What do you do? On Sunday. What do you do on Sundays? What do you do on a Sunday? You have three options. Right? Oh, give me all three. 
what do you do on Sunday? What do you do on Sundays? What do you do on a Sunday? Okay, you have three options. But if you are talking about the next Sunday, then you have only one option. If you are talking about the next Sunday, okay, the coming Sunday, then you have only one option. Listen to my sentence. I'm going to Patna. I'm going to I'm Patna Ja Rehe and Kab on bus. Sunday jo na Patna ja rahe. I'm going to Patna on a Sunday night. Sunday night only Sunday. Is situation. But jo har baar sat ham shanivar ko kichri khate. I eat kichri. Aaj bolo. On Saturdays. Another option. On a Saturday and on Saturday. All three options are possible. Because it is not about coming Saturday. Normally. Okay. I eat kichri. Kichri khate. Aane wale Saturday ko kali. Saturday ko. So, in general, you have three options. Okay. I eat kichri on Saturday. I eat kichri on Saturdays. I eat kichri on a Saturday. But if you're talking about the coming one, then you have only one option. How interesting. Okay. So, she says, uh, yeah, what do you do on Sundays? In Hindi, we have only one option. Very well, Very well, so Hindi and English very interesting they are if you compare. In English, you can say what do you do on Sunday? But in Hindi, you can't say Rai Baro ko kya karte. You have only one option. Rai Baro ko kya karte. Any budget hai, that people use only Sunday because in Hindi kabi Rai Baro ko bole nahi hoon ki plural. Aapko lagta plural kya kya kya. But it's okay to use plural when you're talking about days in general. So, Mondays are very busy for me. Mondays are very busy. Okay. Mondays, no problem. But in Hindi, we do not say Sambaro. Right? I eat Kichri on Saturdays. I eat Kichri on a Saturday. A Saturday, I so, which log they were cook for me? Obviously, to be a sentence like it out, which log to pass. Even if they are teachers, okay, can get a high IP in Lagayo, X Saturday, who bought them, or X Saturday, who did that. That's about that. Unka the mark English rules to appreciate in a cut there. To Mari English, Rab is Lee, a good Mari teachers ran after teachers. Forget about the students, okay? Classmate. Unka the mark Hindi Sazabo, his coach, I mean, English. School get teachers get part of high school get teachers get part of the sentence record. One, two percent teachers will say how this sentence is correct. There is nothing wrong with it. Ninety-eight percent, ninety-nine percent teachers will say, Are a cow, you go. Q because they only think in Hindi. Their mind only thinks about Hindi. They do not accept English as an independent language. Which has nothing to do with Hindi. 60 million people, that's the population of England, okay? 60 million people and 400 million people, which is the population of the US, are speaking English, not knowing a word of Hindi, right? Those people have no idea how people in India speak Hindi, but they speak their language. So they have certain rules in their mind, which they learn from their surroundings as they grow up. There are professors, there are writers, they write in newspapers, magazines, they come on TV, they have debates. They do all these things, right? And we are studying their language. We are studying the same thing. You had a cup of tea and still feeling a little sleepy. <laughs> he had a cup of tea before he came here and he's still feeling sleepy. You know what? You should not drink tea. You should drink coffee, maybe. <laughs> coffee will keep you away. <laughs> All right. Now, so, on a Saturday is absolutely fine. On a Sunday is absolutely fine. But the problem is, if you translate it into Hindi, 
And because of that letter A there, you want to say Ek Raiwar, Ek Shaniwar, that's nonsense. Kisne ka so when I say, I am very busy on a Monday, I'm very busy on a Monday, I'm only saying, so what I'm very busy on a Monday. That's all. I'm very busy on a Monday. That's all. But if you don't have to do it, you can learn from your mind. You can't put it from your mind. I was born with it, I didn't know that you can put it from your mind. What I mean is, Unless my English improved, I didn't know that A was okay there. Maybe by saying so, stuff, but not just to push there. Is to get the head broker up in a family, up in a field. I was an English teacher when in 2006 or 12, but in 2006, I would have said this sentence was wrong. So, Jack Chamber Manage for Color Bull, yeah. That I I am very busy on a Monday. I think I'll say, yeah, now, yes, the markets are bowling here, right? But the problem is, why don't people grow? I think there is a very simple reason. People are more worried about their income, their salary, and they're less worried about their skills. If you are a bowler, you should worry more about how to get your Yorkers right rather than which club is get, giving you a contract. That should not be your prime concern. Your prime concern should not be which club is giving you how much money as a player. Your prime concern should be how to get your Yorkers right, how to get your slow balls right. If you're doing your job well, money will follow, right? But unfortunately, somehow, 90% people in their job worry more about their income and less about their skill. And that's the reason why they don't. I'm talking about teachers, you know? They don't think that they need to improve. They will be overconfident, you know, just, I'm sorry. They, they don't even listen to people who are telling them the right thing. They live in their own world. I said, this A word, it's not a good thing. Some people will say, you will teach grammar rules, you will teach them to teach them, 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 you will teach them to teach them. But that's what they say. और आप उनको ले जाएंगे अमेरिकन्स के पास ब्रिटिश के पास ये अच्छा ना इनसे ये क्या बोलते हैं बोलेंगे इनको नहीं पता इनको ग्रामर लो मतलब कोई रीजन नहीं उनके पास अपने आप को सही बोलने का फिर भी वो बिलीव कर रहे हैं जस्ट बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ देयर ईगो वही इतने साल से वो टीचर तो कैसे मान ले and this is the reason why you guys suffer. Intelligent people like you. I mean, just look at your guys. You guys are very good at math. Your guys are very good at science. Why is it that you are not so good at English? You improve everything you study at, at school, except your English. In terms of English, you just learn some vocabulary, some basic translations, and that is where your growth stops. Your growth stops after that, you don't improve. You never feel confident enough to flow in English. To just keep going, keep going. You can't do that. The reason is very simple. You are asked to stick to your Hindi translation. So on Saturdays, on a Saturday, they are the same as on Saturday. No difference. Okay. What do you do on Sundays? Oh, I don't do much at all. I don't do much at all. I explained this sentence yesterday to you. I don't do much at all. And one thing I want to tell you about the, you know, culture of the class. When I teach something in the class, I expect you guys to go home and have a routine to study and practice some sentences in the group every day, not one day or two days a week, every day. Like yesterday, I taught you the use of at all. Did I? Then I was expecting you guys would go home and write a few sentences with the all. For example, you could have written one or two, I don't eat fish at all. Okay. One or two sentences, just to remind you what you study. Make it your routine. Make it a culture for this class. That we are going to practice what we study in the class. Every day, you must have a routine. 
most probably in evening time work for you, you know, uh, for most of us. So maybe at eight o'clock, nine o'clock, you sit down and you revise the lesson and you write some sentences. If you want to do it early, like after the class is over, you can, whenever you find that. But when we check the group today, there is no, isn't a single text from your lab. You see, you guys are not, why do we have a group here, students? We have a group so that we can use the group as a common notebook. Everybody's writing there what they're studying in the class. It's a common practice ground. Okay, where you all practice and I'm there to watch your practice. So please write some sentences, whatever you study, anything that you study, you have to practice the same. Okay. <clears throat> what do you do on a Sunday? No, I don't do much at all. I often eat in a little restaurant near my apartment. Same line, I often eat in a little restaurant near my apartment. Do you sometimes cook on Sundays? Do you sometimes cook on Sundays? No. Never. <laughs> Never. I'm too tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I understand that. I understand that. Yes, he understands that because she's not his wife. If they get married, then he will not say, I understand that. Really. Why can't you cook? You're tired, then I'm tired too. <laughs> People understand each other, you know, as long as they're not married to each other. Once they get married, they stop understanding each other. Thank you very much for your time, Lisa. My pleasure. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie were, they were, you know, in a living relationship for seven years, I think. Okay. And they had children together, but they were not married. Seven years or 10 years, perhaps. Okay. They were together. Nothing happened. They were fine. They were happy. And then they got married. And when they got married, their relationship, their marriage did not last two years. They had to divorce. It's strange, isn't it? When they were not married, they were happy together for 10 years. They were together. They even had children together. And once they got married, suddenly, you know, things started, you know, not going in their favor. And uh, they got divorced within two years or two years and six months. Okay. All right. That's another thing. I'm not trying to scare you. You guys are fine. You're in India. Okay. So you guys are fine. You get married and your marriage will last. Don't worry. Okay, time to practice the conversation. The interview. Everybody, take out your audio script. <laughs> I see that uh, Rani has not written her audio script. Rani, you have not written your audio script. Is that right? Why? Why have you not written your audio script? Okay, let me ask Samir. Samir, have you written your audio script? Show me. <laughs> you thought he can get away just lying to me, huh? Yes, sir. Show me. Show me you have written your audio script. Tahir, have you? Audio script. Every time we have an audio file, where we listen to a conversation, we need to write it. We need to write down what we hear. Okay, sorry. When we listen to the audio, which I shared yesterday, 3.3, then you feel that you understand it, right? Which is good. But when you write down the same thing that you are listening to, then you realize that there are a few places where you're not very sure what they are saying. When you try to write down what they're saying in the audio, then at times you feel a little confused. You're not very sure about what you're hearing. In that moment, you will, of course, leave the blank space. When you come to the class, I explain that part. And then you understand better. Oh, this is what they were saying. Okay. So writing the audio script gives you opportunities to learn more deeply. Okay, when I share an audio file, there are two things we can do with an audio file. One, listen and understand what they're talking about. And two, listen and write down what they're talking, what they're saying in the audio. That's what we call audio script. 
स्क्रिप्ट पकड़ लिख आई ओके जो ऑडियो में बोला जा रहा है वो लिख देंगे उसी को कहेंगे ऑडियो स्क्रिप्ट राइट For today, I'm sharing this audio script in the group. But for next time, I will expect you guys to write your audio script. Okay? Babar Ali ka audio script aapko bhi likha hai na? So fir aaj ki nahi likha. So the pata hai you guys know very well what writing the audio script is about. Go ahead. The uh, I have shared the audio script in the group with you guys. Check check out the audio script in the group. Practice the conversation with the partner. Then what are you doing? Practice. Are you practicing? Practice with your partner. When the interviewer says, uh, "Thank you for your time," okay, this time, thank you for your time, this time, and she says, "My pleasure," means I enjoyed the conversation. Pleasure means uh, However, which other context means pleasure? Can mean something for you? Yes, which look pleasure can get kind of that. Mother pleasure in the job. Which look pleasure can you can't find a pen? Kind of some people go to bank of for pleasure. So pleasure has different connotations. Last phrase, my pleasure. That's a formality. When somebody thanks you, you know, for doing something, for example, uh, you ask me for. When you ask me a question and I explain and then you say thank you for your time, sir. Thank you for your time, sir. Then politely I will say, my pleasure. It means, my pleasure. My pleasure. My means you understand? Pleasure means happiness. Pleasure means happiness. Okay? But happiness or pleasure means what the fuck? Do words, then I'm like that. So, pleasure means what the fuck? Do words, then I'm like that. So, pleasure means what the fuck? Do words, then I'm like that. They say, we should not go after pleasure. You should not just seek pleasure in life. Zindagi mein sir, Hindi mein na, English mein alag alag words hai. Jaysa pleasure hai, joy hai, happiness hai, okay? So all these words have slightly different meaning and feeling. So chief justice hai, bade hum ne English mein, abhi aapko ekdam bache hai English. Kya hai? Ekdam bache. Isse wo chaap paan sal bache kaise hoke? Pahli baat kuch jare? So they are learning to write A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3. Ek shuaat hoke hai na? This is beginning for you in English. This is just the beginning because you want to understand English independently. Or push it to the beginning. Abhi aap jitti bhi English aapte ho na, uske liye aap Hindi jaapte ho dekha jaapte ho. Right? But English nahi jaapte. Aap sire uske English Hindi mein translate kar dekha kaya ye hoga. So actually English Hindi samajte ho, English nahi. जैसे आप कहते हैं डॉग डॉग में कुत्ता तो कुत्ता तो फिजिकल चीज बॉडी है ठीक है पर बता सकते हैं ये लेकिन there are lot of things in English which do not have a body when you talk about them they are abstract ideas okay how do you understand just like I said relation relation 
So it is a noun. Pleasure is a noun. And it is an abstract noun. Okay. Some people play cricket for pleasure. Some people play cricket for pleasure. Means they don't want to have a career in cricket. They are not very good at cricket. They just play cricket for pleasure. All right. They enjoy it. Right? Any problems? Carry on. Practice hard. Wherever you find anything difficult that your mind doesn't understand 100%, ask. Okay? You need to understand these things 100%, guys. These are easy conversations. So, wherever you feel confused, feel free to ask. Practice with a partner. Don't practice, it, practice alone. Okay? Uh -huh. What is the sentence? Now I hear you often. Tell me my club here in New York. Try. Which part is difficult for you? Okay. Okay. So let's go to the next part. And I will answer this question there. Look at the grammar spot box on the right side of the page. Okay, do you have a book? Did I give you a book? Here is your book. <laughs> now, everybody has two books, right? The main book and the preference book. Okay, open your book. Go to page number 23, the page that we're studying. And look at the, the, the blue box, the grammar spot box. Can you see that? Now, point number one. Complete the chart. Okay, <laughs> complete the chart, everybody. Let's see. Complete the chart. I want to see how you complete the chart. Okay. I hope you get it right. It should be easy. Complete the chart. Hope you're done. Sabir, are you confused? Why? You see, look at the chart. There is a column called present simple. Then there is another column called positive. There is another column called negative. And then we have rows I, you, he, she, it, we, they. Why do we have them separately? They should think about it. And what will go in the blank space? Are you done for me? Have you completed the chart? Oh my goodness. Really? Done? You have completed your chart? Show me. Only one. Only one. Show me. Yeah, good job. Guys, you need to study like Rani does. You know, we had another girl here who's absent. She will be back on Monday. She is enjoying her wedding. Did she tell you? Did you talk to her? She's talking about uh, Aki, the married woman. She's enjoying her friend's wedding in her village. I said it was such a long way she took. Yeah, she went last week. All this week she's gonna be up then. She will come back on Monday. She enjoyed the wedding for 10 days. I don't believe it. I mean, I used to go to wedding for a day or two. 10 days? <laughs> when I told her that it's gonna be hard, she says, I'll manage. I'll study hard and I'll just manage. Okay. He's a clever girl, and so are you, and everybody else. Come on, it's easy. What does it say? Present simple, positive. I, you, work, negative. I, you, don't work. With he, she, what will you write in positive? Obviously, what is the positive? He, she, it, works, 
play, goes, eats, right? A negative doesn't work, doesn't go, doesn't play, doesn't eat. We, they, positive, work. S is only used with he, she, it. negative, don't, again, don't go, don't play, don't work. Now you understand, Tawheed? Yeah, but I wanted you to do it on your own, without my assistance, without my help. Please, be here on time, be regular. We have already missed a lot of classes because of holidays and all, okay? Now we need to take the control of our learning, okay? Now, point number two, complete the questions and answers. Come on, you can do it. Complete the questions and answers. Number two. It's easy. Where do you work? Because the subject is you, we are using do. Next, does she work? Because the subject is she, in a positive sentence, we say she works. But in questions, we remove S and we bring does. Where does she work? Next, do you work in London? Yes. I do. Next. Does he work in London? No, he doesn't. Now comes what you guys asked me about often. Look at number three. Find the adverbs in the text. Read the instruction. Find the adverbs in the text. So tell me, these five words, always, usually, often, sometimes, and never, what are they called? What are they called, guys? They are called adverbs because it's written. Find the adverbs in the text. It means these words are adverbs. Always is an adverb. Usually is an adverb. Often is an adverb. Sometimes is an adverb. And never is also an adverb. These are called frequency adverbs. These are called what adverbs? Frequency adverbs. Always, usually, often, sometimes, never. They answer the question, Kitni bar? Kitni bar? How often? Then we answer the question with these words. Now, find these words in the text. Find these adverbs in the text. Which text? Lisa Parson text on the left side, yes. Go to the text, Tawheed. The text is on the left side, yes. Read the text and find the use of these words. There are some sentences with these words. Underline them. Underline those sentences where you see these words. Done. What is the sentence you see with the word always? There are one or two sentences with the word always in the text. How five sentences with the word always? With the word always, there is one sentence. What is the sentence? I'm always very busy. Always means 100%. Yes or no? Always means? 100%. I'm always very busy. In Hindi? I'm always very busy. Okay? 
Now, the next sentence with the usually. I usually go to bed. Tell me the sentence from there. I usually finish the work at 6 o'clock. Do you see that sentence? Okay. Next, give me the word with often. Now, I said give me the sentence with often. I often eat in a little restaurant. Okay. Now, give me the word with sometimes. Sometimes I stay late at work. The sentence in the story, in the text is, sometimes I stay late at work. Next, never. I never cook on a Sunday. Okay. So these words tell you how often somebody does something. These words tell you how often somebody does something. Okay. Now, these are called frequency adverbs. Think of a line. Think of a line from 0 to 100. Okay? Now, for 0, which word will you put from this? Which word will you put for 0? You will put the word never for 0? Never. Right? I never smoke. 0. Never. I never smoke. Understand? I never smoke. Now, which word will you put for 100? Right. Lisa Parsons is always very busy. My wife is always ready to help me. My wife is always ready to help me. She's always ready, 100% times. Yes, you need help, I'm here. She's always ready to help me in every way. Okay. Always means clear? Always in Hindi? And never in Hindi? Kabhi nahi. So, zero and hundred. Okay? Aur ye words jo hai, unko kya kata hai? Frequency adverbs. Ab chalo. You got zero, you got hundred. Let's come a little below hundred. Usually. Usually is around seventy-five or eighty. You, now, Hindi will not help you. Think about it. Usually is near always. Usually is near always. Let's understand. I usually wake up before 6 o'clock. I usually wake up before 6 o'clock. It means in one week, there are 7 days, 5, 6 days I wake up before 6 o'clock. One day, maybe I don't wake up before 6 o'clock. If I wake up every day before seven, 6 o'clock, I'll say I always wake up before 6 o'clock. You understand? But if not always, then usually. Usually means there is a small percentage for no. 70%, 80%, yes. 20%, 25%, 30%, no. Okay. I usually eat 4 or 5 rotis for breakfast. I usually eat four or five rotis for breakfast. It means some days I eat three or six as well, but usually I eat four or five rotis. So usually, what kind of Hindi words are the most popular to me? Just as I'm telling you, just as I'm saying, what do you feel to me? Sometimes, I'm saying I usually eat six, four or five rotis. Usually, kill a word. Yes, what you Okay. I usually get up before six o'clock. Yes. Right. I usually get up before six o'clock. Sometimes I get up late, but usually, she usually finishes work at six o'clock. Sometimes she stays late. So, usually, kill a word. Use karenge? Right? Zadata? Aksar ha? Right? Aksar? Praya? Tiki? Is there Hindi words which give the similar meaning? So think about the word usually. 
what time do you usually wake up? You. What time do you usually wake up? Mm. You usually wake up early. So he usually wakes up early. But sometimes, kisi kisi din ho jata ho ki nahi uthe sabere, right? Agar aisa kabhi nahi hoga, to hamesha usually se kya ban gaya wo? Always ho gaya. Thik hai? Aisa hota hi nahi hai ki late uthe. Hota hi nahi hai. To ye kya bolenge? I always wake up early. So usually and always are very close. Yes or no? Always 100%. Usually 80%, 70%, 75%, like that. I hope you understand. How many rotis do you usually eat for breakfast? Is it a difficult question to answer? No. Answer? How many rotis do you usually eat for breakfast? Five rotis. I usually eat five rotis. Okay. But if you get tasty, tasty mutton curry, tab, seven, eight rotis. I don't know. Mm. I too normally eat, usually eat four, five rotis for breakfast. But if you give me a lovely chicken curry or mutton curry, then I can eat seven, eight rotis too. But that is, that's rare. That doesn't happen every day. And that's what I'm saying. I usually eat four or five of these. So I hope you understand that. Usually. Okay. Now, usually it's 100% sometimes sometimes it's 20, 25%, 30%. Okay. Now, sometimes it's 20, 25%, 30%. Together they become 100%. So she says, I usually get a stay, work until I, I usually work finish work at six o'clock sometimes i stay late okay but ek word aa jata hai beech mein often okay so often is not the same as usually thoda fark hai dono mein often is 50% okay ha na ha na lekin uska matlab ha hota hai ab zara dekho i'm a i'm a i'm a movie fan i'm a movie fan i'm very fond of films mujhe filme badi achhi lagti hain I often go to the cinema. मैंने हाँ बोला कि ना बोला? क्या बोला? हाँ बोला? हाँ बोला मैंने. कुछ लोग सोचते हैं क्योंकि often fifty percent है तो ना भी हो गया. नहीं ना मैंने बोला ही नहीं. मैंने कहा I love films. I am I'm very fond of films. मुझे फिल्में बड़ी अच्छी लगती हैं. I'm fond of films. मतलब क्या होता है उसको? मुझे फिल्में. हाँ तो आपको भी अगर ऐसे कोई sentence बोलना तो बोल सकते हैं. I Cricket. I'm fond of cricket. मुझे cricket बहुत पसंद है. Okay. I'm fond of English. तो ऐसे ऐसे बीच में मैं कुछ बोल दूँ ना तो दिमाग उसको acknowledge कर ले और आगे बढ़ जाए उसको acknowledge करके और वही जाके आज रात practice करना है. मैं बोलता हूँ कि आपको क्या practice करना होता है घर पे. तो यही जो मैं बोल दिया ना आप एक बार सुन लेने से नहीं सीख जाते. याद रखना. आप उसके बारे में दोबारा तो मेरे बोले हुए शब्दों को लेसन समझिए मैं कुछ भी बोलूं ही इंग्लिश में तो उसको पढ़ाई समझिए उसको मेरी बात मत समझिए सर तो उससे क्या होगा कि आप उस पे ध्यान ज्यादा दोगे कुछ स्टूडेंट्स का एटीट्यूड क्या होता है कि वो इंग्लिश मेरे मुंह से सुनते हैं ना तो उनको ऐसा लगने लगता है ग्रांटेड ले लेते हैं वो कहते हैं विनय सर इंग्लिश टीचर है ना स्पोकन इंग्लिश इंग्लिश वो बोलते हैं बस इतना ही बोल के खत्म कर देते हैं उस मेरी बात को वो ध्यान नहीं देते और वही जो मैं बोल रहा हूं अगर मैं उसको लिखवा करके पढ़ाने लोगों तो कहते हैं बहुत सारा पढ़ाई हुआ ये बड़ा फनी हो जाता है कि मैं जब बोल रहा हूँ वो बात तो उसको पढ़ाई नहीं मानते लेकिन जब मैं वो लिखवाने लग जाऊं जो मैं बोल रहा हूँ तो उसको पढ़ाई मानते हैं ये बड़ा अजीब है आपको समझना चाहिए कि आप मैं इंग्लिश इसलिए बोलता हूँ आपसे ताकि आप मेरे बोले हुए इंग्लिश से कुछ सीख सके इफ आई टॉक इन हिंदी मैं जैसे भी हिंदी में बोल रहा हूँ अगर मैं पूरे क्लास में हिंदी में बात करूँ तो आपकी लर्निंग घट जाएगी अपने आप क्योंकि एक्सपोजर आपका जीरो हो गया इंग्लिश का सिर्फ किताब में जो लिखा हुआ ही सुन रहे हो आप बट बिन आई एम टॉकिंग टू यू इन इंग्लिश I'm giving you a lot of exposure, lot of practice. So pay full attention to what I'm saying. उसको granted मत लो और बिना सर का तो काम है English बोलना ऐसे मत सोचो मैं जो बोल रहा हूँ वो तुम्हारे लिए सीखने की चीज़ है और elementary classes में 
मैं बहुत सोच के बोलता हूँ मैं सोचता हूँ कि मैं कितना सिंपल बोलू आपके लिए ताकि आप मेरे हर एक बोले हुए सेंटेंस का फायदा ले सके इसके लिए जरूरी है कि आप इस तरह से पूरे दिन भर ग्रुप से दूर ना रहें ग्रुप जो बनाया मैंने आप उसमें जाकर के आज की पढ़ाई की प्रैक्टिस करें जिस समय आपको समय मिले और तो ही आप फास्ट लर्नर बनोगे नहीं तो आपकी लर्निंग स्लो हो जाएगी ओके फाइन लेट सी द वर्ड ऑफ्टन या आई लाइक गोलगप्पा वी ऑफन ईट गोलगप्पा आई एंड माई वाइफ वी ऑफन ईट गोलगप्पा मतलब गोलगप्पा पसंद है कि नहीं हमें खाते हैं कि नहीं खाते खाते हैं ऑफन का मैंने वी ऑफन ईट गोलगप्पा तो ऑफन में रूटीन होता है क्या ये रूटीन से बोला मैंने ऑफन ईट गोलगप्पा तो इसमें क्या रूटीन है लेकिन जब मैंने कहा था यूजली वेक अप एट सिक्स ओ क्लॉक और बिफोर सिक्स ओ क्लॉक रूटीन फील आता है ना रूटीन की फीलिंग आती है ना आई यूजली ईट सिक्स और सेवन रोटीज इसमें रूटीन की फीलिंग आती है ना बार बार वाली बात और ऑफन में भी बार बार है लेकिन वो उतना फ्रीक्वेंट नहीं है जितना यूजली है अक्सर कॉल करती है ठीक है तो ऑफन यूजली ऑलवेज आगे बढ़ रहे धीरे धीरे करके ठीक है पीछे आते हैं समटाइम्स नेवर आई होप यू बिकम कंफर्टेबल विद दीज फाइव वर्ड्स चलो लेट्स गो टू पेज नंबर वन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी फाइव एंड थर्टी सिक्स का एडवर्ब्स ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी एडवर्ब्स ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी अच्छा बताओ ये वर्ड्स जो है ये इंग्लिश का एक बहुत बड़ा रूल तोड़े रूल तोड़ दिए कौन सा रूल तोड़ दी बेटा बता सकते हो मुझे अब तक जो आपने सीखा था आज से पहले तक उसमें एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट रूल मैं सिखा रहा था जिसको ये तोड़ रहा है क्या कैन यू टेल मी बता सकते हो कौन सा रूल तोड़ रहा है नहीं कौन सा रूल तोड़ा बेटा रूल बताओ रूल का नाम बताओ जिसको ये तोड़ रहा है ये वर्ड कोई रूल बताओ जो मैंने बताया है आपको लेकिन ये टूट रहा है नहीं बेटा वो तो अभी आज जो मैंने बताया वो पीछे पड़ा हुआ तो तोड़ रहा है आप नहीं महसूस कर पा रहे ना मैं बताता हूँ बेटा वी लर्न दैट इन इंग्लिश सब्जेक्ट और वर्ब आर ऑलवेज टूगेदर पढ़े थे ना कि हमारे हिंदी में वर्ब आखिर में चला जाता है जब मैं कहता हूँ गर्मियों के मौसम में मैं छत पे सोता हूं तो मैं के बाद मैं गर्मियों के मौसम में छत पे सोता हूं सोना कहा है आखिर में मैं कहा है लेकिन इंग्लिश में आई और स्लीप साथ हो जाते थे ये पढ़ा था ना हम लोगों ने कि इंग्लिश में सब्जेक्ट और वर्ब कहा होते साथ होते हैं पति पति जैसे साथ लेकिन आप देखो ये क्या कर रहे हैं ये पति और पत्नी को अलग कर रहे कोई और वर्ड नहीं आ सकता इनके बीच किसके बीच सब्जेक्ट और वर्ब के बीच इसीलिए रूल तोड़े कि नहीं तोड़े रूल नंबर वन इंग्लिश में सब्जेक्ट और वर्ब साथ होते हैं यस और नो अब यहां देखो क्या है साथ में बोलो रूल तोड़ा कि नहीं तोड़ा बोलना चाहिए था ना तुम्हें लेकिन क्यों नहीं बता पाए तुम पता है ना तुमने उस रूल को बहुत वैल्यू किया और ना इस चीज को वैल्यू कर रहे हो कि इसकी पोजिशन क्या है हर चीज ग्रांटेड लेते हैं हम लोग बस आदत है बोलने की बोलते रहते हैं सोचना उतना गहरे से पॉसिबल नहीं हो पाता कई लोगों के लिए अब आप सोचो और बताओ मुझे क्या इसने रूल तोड़ा कि नहीं तोड़ा जो अब तक पढ़े थे अब तक क्या पढ़े थे कि कुछ हो जाए सब्जेक्ट और वर्ब को क्या रखना है देखो घुस गया बीच में इसका मतलब पति पत्नी के बीच वो आ गया पति पत्नी और वो वो पति पत्नी और वो देखो आए Sometimes work late. कौन बोल रही है लिसा पर्सन आई समाइम्स वर्क लेट शी नेवर गोज आउट ऑन संडे लिसा पर्सन नेवर गोज आउट ऑन संडे ना लिसा पर्सन गोज आउट ऑन संडे ओके वो तो जाती है और राइट नेवर गोज आउट ऑन संडे कभी नहीं जाती कोई भी कोई भी औरत शी नेवर गोज आउट ऑन संडेज नेवर की पोजिशन देखो शी और गोज के बीच में नेक्स्ट 
आई ऑफन ईट इन अरेस्टो और कोई वर्ड नहीं आ सकते सब्जेक्ट और वर्ब के बीच में ठीक है दोस्तों only frequency adverbs okay next i usually go to bed at about 11 we always stop work at 6 to kabhi kabhi pati aur patni ke beech kaun aa jata hai wo to ye wo hai frequency adverb lekin kuch pati patni aise hote hai na jinke beech koi nahi aa sakta wo bhi nahi aa जब पत्नी हो कौन बी वर्ब देखो आगे वाले सेंटर शी इज ऑलवेज लेट बताओ ऑलवेज कहा है सब्जेक्ट और वर्ब के बीच में है क्या शी इज ऑलवेज लेट कहा है ऑलवेज सब्जेक्ट और वर्ब के बीच में आया नहीं आया नहीं आया वर्ब क्या है दोस्त तो वर्ब क्या है शी इज ऑलवेज लेट और वर्ब क्या है वर्ब 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 लेट वर्ब है वर्ब क्या है चारों सब बोले इज नहीं बोल पाया वो अच्छा बी वर्ब नहीं पढ़े तो इज एम आर बी वर्ब नहीं पढ़े थे बच्चे पढ़े ना बी वर्ब इज एम आर राइट तो शी इज ऑलवेज लेट में वर्ब क्या है इज ओके शी इज ऑलवेज लेट तो देखो सब्जेक्ट और वर्ब साथ में है ना पति पत्नी साथ ही रहना ऑलवेज नहीं घुस पाया उनके बीच कुछ पति पत्नी के रिश्ते ऐसे होते हैं रिश्ते कि कोई भी आ जाए कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा उनका वो साथ ही रहेंगे वो रहे और वो रहेगी लेकिन वो साइड में रहेगी शी इज ऑलवेज लेट आई एम नेवर हंग्री इन द मॉर्निंग देखो सब्जेक्ट क्या है आई आई वर्ब क्या है एम साथ ही है कौन सा वर्ब कभी नहीं छोड़ता सब्जेक्ट का साथ बी वर्ब हमेशा साथ देखो फ्रीक्वेंसी एट भी नहीं घुस रहे उसके बीच में तुम हमेशा गुस्सा क्यों रहते हो जी ऑलवेज हमेशा वाई आर यू ऑलवेज एंग्री वाई आर यू ऑलवेज एंग्री ठीक है आई एम नेवर एंग्री आई एम आई एम नेवर एंग्री इन इन माई क्लास ओके दैट्स नॉट ट्रू I'm usually not angry. Sometimes I am. When the students don't do this, you know, homework, then I'm a little annoyed with them. Yeah, but normally I'm not angry in the class. English पढ़ाने मेरे लिए ना मजेदार चीज होती है. इसमें आप जब गलतियाँ करते हो, तो मुझे पता होता है क्यों कर रहे हो, कैसे कर रहे हो, कहीं ना कहीं. हाँ, कुछ हिस्से बच्चे होते हैं ना जो ऐसी गलतियाँ करते हैं, जो लगता है कि कैसे कर सकते हैं, तो थोड़ा थोड़ा tension आता है. But they are rare. वो बच्चे ना अजीब होते हैं अजीब मतलब क्या समझाऊं? 90 परसेंट बच्चों को पढ़ाते समय कोई गुस्सा नहीं आता मुझे 10 परसेंट बच्चे चिड़ा सकते हैं क्यों वो अजीब बातें करते हैं। जैसे ये ये सामने तुम्हारा ऋषिकेश कभी कभी कुछ ऐसा बोलेगा ना लगेगा कि यार तू है कहां से तू तो कौन से जंगल से है भाई ऐसा पूछने का मन करता है मेरा कभी कभी ठीक है ऋषिकेश तुम महसूस करते हो जैसे उस दिन तुमने किया बच्चा लियो है बोला हम बच्चा ले ले क्या मतलब था भाई औरतें बच्चा लेके चलती वो औरत बनने का रोल कर रहा था बताओ अभी गांव देहात की औरतें जो होती कौन जाता है बच्चा को लेके बच्चे को आदमी ऐसे लेके कब जाता है डॉक्टर के पास जा रहा होता है बाजार में यार ऐसे लेके चलते है ना यार ट्रॉली होती है ना बच्चों की इस ऐसे करके कौन लेके जाता है बच्चे को यहाँ पे क्या तो तू गांव में इंग्लिश बोलेगा रे <laughs> गांव में बाहर निकल गांव से हम जान रहे हैं हम जान रहे तुमने एकदम जो अपना एक्सपोजर है ना तुम्हारा लाइफ का तुम उसी के हिसाब से चले मुझे ये समझ में आ रहा है लेकिन तुमने दुनिया बाहर भी तो देखी है गा, गांव से उसको क्यों नहीं एक्नोलेज किया एक बात और बताता हूं दोस्तों कुछ चीजें होती हैं लोकल कुछ चीजें होती हैं लोकल कुछ कस्टम्स कुछ आइडियाज कुछ कॉन्वर्सेशन लोकल होती हैं इंग्लिश लोकल के लिए नहीं है इंग्लिश इंटरनेशनल के लिए है ठीक है 
मैं आप कहने का मतलब कि आप जब इंग्लिश में बात करते हैं तो ज्यादातर उन चीजों के बारे में बात करिए जो पूरी दुनिया को जिस चीज में इंटरेस्ट होती है जो पूरी दुनिया बात करती है जैसे ऐसे कुछ फ्रेजेस ले लीजिए हिंदी में ठीक है मैं कैसे बोलू मैं अभी एग्जाम्पल नहीं दे पा रहा बिकॉज आई एम नॉट प्रिपेयर फॉर दिस लेकिन ऐसे कई बातचीत होती है ना जिसको इंग्लिश में करना नेक्स्ट इम्पॉसिबल होगा क्योंकि वो सिर्फ एक खास छोटे शहर के दो लोग जो यहाँ रहते वही कर रहे हैं बाकी वो बातचीत कोई और नहीं कर रहा तो थोड़ा सा अपना एक्सपोजर ग्रो करिए अपना कोशिश करिए अपने आप को दुनिया दिखाने की ताकि इंग्लिश का फायदा ले सके गंदे पे लेके चलेंगे औरत बन बाबू को बोले गाँव में नहीं लेके चलती है मुझे आप बड़े मतलब आई रिस्पेक्ट यू दैट यू आर ट्राइंग हार्ड टू लर्न इंग्लिश ओके बट एट द सेम टाइम आई फाइंड इट वेरी फनी व्हेन यू मेक सर्टेन मिस्टेक एंड समटाइम्स आई गेट अ लिटिल अनॉइड एज वेल ओके ऑल राइट एनीवेज वेयर वर वी अम फ्रीक्वेंसी एट वर्क्स क्लिफ दे गो बिटवीन द यस हम्म हाँ हाँ आप कहना क्या चाहते हैं ऑफ एंड ड्रिंक टी से नहीं ये कभी कभार नहीं हुआ ये हुआ मैं अक्सर चाय पीता फिफ्टी परसेंट ओके कभी कभार के लिए आई समाइम्स ड्रिंक टी और उससे भी कम के दाम में कभी कभी तो आई रेयरली ड्रिंक टी मतलब हम नहीं पीते एक तरह से बोलना चाह रहे हैं आप ठीक है आपने चलो आप किसी के घर गए उसने चाय ऑफर किया तो आप मना करने के लिए कौन सा लाइन बोलोगे सॉरी डोंट ड्रिंक टी अगला लाइन क्या होगा आई ऑफन ड्रिंक टी आई यूजली ड्रिंक टी आई नेवर ड्रिंक टी आई रेयरली ड्रिंक टी कौन कौन सा लाइन पॉसिबल है आप मना करना चाहते हो कोई चाय ऑफर कर रहे हैं ठीक है और आप कहना चाह रहे हो ना रहने दो ना और अगला लाइन कौन सा बोलोगे आई नेवर ड्रिंक टी आई रेयरली ड्रिंक टी आई समाइम्स ड्रिंक टी आई ऑफ एन ड्रिंक टी तो ज्यादा अच्छा है आई नेवर ड्रिंक टी एक बोल के मना करे और दूसरा क्या है बोलने का आई रेयरली ड्रिंक टी लीव इट ना आई रेयरली ड्रिंक टी डोंट डोंट ड्रिंक आई रेयरली ड्रिंक टी छोड़ दे ठीक है लेकिन आई ऑफ एन ड्रिंक टी से आप मना नहीं कर पाओगे आप ऑफ एन ट्री इसी यही बताने का मतलब है मैं यही बोलना चाहता है कि सुन लो ऋषिकेश क्या होता है ना कि जब इंसान मीनिंग खाली याद कर लेता ऑफ मतलब अक्सर और ये सुन लिया फिफ्टी फिफ्टी तो दिमाग में वो कंफ्यूजन आना लाजमी है आपके जो कंफ्यूजन है ना मैं उसको सेंस कर रहा हूँ सेंस कर रहा हूँ खाली सुन नहीं रहा हूँ सेंस कर रहा हूँ उसको मैं आपके दिमाग में बैठा हुआ एक तरह से मैं महसूस कर सकता हूँ कि आप क्या महसूस कर रहे हैं इसलिए मैं ये बोल रहा हूँ कि सो, सोचो इस सिचुएशन में कोई तुम्हें चाय ऑफर कर रहा है और तुम उसको मना नहीं करना चाहते मना करना चाहते हो मत लाओ तो कौन सा लाइन बोलोगे वो तो ऑप्शन है दूसरा ऑप्शन क्या है आई यूजली ड्रिंक टी बोल के मना कर सकते हैं मना कर सकेंगे बोल पाएंगे मना कर पाएंगे लगेगा कि मना करने वाला बात बोल रहे हैं तो आप बोल रहे हैं हाँ हाँ लाओ लाओ आई यूजली ड्रिंक टी मना करने के लिए आपको ना बोलना होगा ना की फीलिंग किसमें आती है रेयरली में या नेवर में आई रेयरली ड्रिंक टी यार ओके ऐसे वाला हो गया आई रेयरली ड्रिंक टी टोन देख रहे हो क्या बोला मैंने आई रेयरली ड्रिंक टी बहुत कम पीते हम चाय ये बोला नहीं पीते रेयरली ड्रिंक ओके आप क्या है इतना हमको लेक्चर दे रहे हम कौन सा रोज रोज स्मोकिंग करते हैं रेयरली स्मोक देखा आप कह रहे हमको क्यों लेक्चर दे रहे हो स्मोकिंग पे आई रेयरली स्मोक मतलब आप कह रहे क्यों लेक्चर दे रहे हम तो स्मोकिंग कभी कभी एकदम करते हैं तो हमको लेक्चर नहीं चाहिए लेक्चर उनको दो दो स्मोक दो यूजुअली स्मोक और राइट आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड द वर्ड अ लिटिल बेटर नाउ डोंट वरी वी हैव प्लेंटी ऑफ टाइम to understand and appreciate these these things homework for tomorrow the first page of unit 3 in the practice the first page of unit 3 in the practice book in the practice book it's the story of a pilot it's the story of a 
pilot. Yeah, that's your homework for tomorrow. Yes, flying high. That will be your homework for tomorrow. I will put this in the group, okay? I will put the homework in the group. Do, and please, homework karna to apne jagah. Wo practice wali baat pe sab zada dhyan do. Ki class mein jo sikhaye gaya, wo ghar pe jaake, kisi bhi samay, jab prasad mile, thode kuch sentences likho. Aur ye roz hona chahiye, ek din nahi. Jo padhaya gaya, uski practice karo, okay? I'll see you guys. Bye-bye. Take care.